Hi, uh, I'm Sam. I run the Digital Manufacturer Workshop and this is going to be some video content talking to you about making models. Uh, it's going to be three parts uh, in total. This first part, I'm just going to give a brief overview, talk about a few things, show you a few of the models behind me and then there's another video that covers some laser cutting and what you need to do and another video that covers bits on 3D printing. So it's going to be reasonably long, watch them all if you have time, um, but you'll be able to pick the one that's, that's relevant to you. Okay, so I'm just going to, really the first things to say is that we've got different ways of manufacture. Like I say, I'm going to concentrate on laser cutting and 3D printing. And what you have to be aware of those things if you watch the videos is the limitations of what you can do and the relevance of those processes. As well as those processes, you still have to assemble things by hand. So if we think about these processes, about the laser cutting, about the 3D printing, they're about making component parts that you will put together to make a complete model for whatever you need. So if you are going to use the digital manufacturer, what you need to do is supply us with a file. And those files will be different whether it be 3D printing or whether it be laser cutting. So the laser cutting would be a vector file, uh, saved as a .ai, an Illustrator file, and the 3D print would be a .stl file, and that's going to be a 3D mesh file with polygons. Um, so differences in things that you need. So if we go back to the laser cutting to start with, now laser cutting you'll be cutting sheet material out. So you need the vectors done as elevations or flat sides that you're going to cut out, and you can cut out of a number of different materials. Um, I've got some, let's have a look at the, on, on the table what we have. Um, so you can cut things out of card with a laser cutter. Um, so card, which we use a lot, card and paper engineering. Card is a great material to use. Um, you can recut it yourself. You can add things in. You can take them, take them away, not only using the laser machine. Um, we cut MDF, which is wood or board, man-made fiber. MDF standing for medium density fiber board. We can see a model cut here and assembled, PVA together. We can see where it's been cut and we can see the burn marks uh, on that material. And then we can also see this detail put in on the side, which is done with the etching, which is done on the green line. So as we call it a part cut, so that detail done in, in that way. So my three materials, the acrylic here at the front. Um, so this is a black piece of acrylic and this has the part cut on the front here for some detail as well in here and on, on the acrylic it becomes white when you part cut it or when you etch it. So these are cut out as sheet materials and then assembled together. All right. Also we have some elements here of 3D printing. So there's some elements here at the front. Now 3D print is for something more uh, sculptural, more three-dimensional. Here this has been done I believe because it, it sort of it's meant to be ruins and we can see that actually there is some detail in here and that actually has a thickness. So obviously it's not cut from a sheet and it would be very difficult to cut from a sheet. Here as well we can see some more examples of, I mean and they're parts, so that's the thing with the model. A model doesn't all have to be made of the same material, some of it may, may be made by hand, some of it might be made by laser cutting, uh, some by 3D printing, or one of, or all of them. Okay, so different things that we can see, we can see in some texture here done, and something that actually has a three dimensional, that is actually three dimensional, yeah, sorry, three dimensional, that raises up here. A more of a relief here on these these pieces so this just shows as an example um, of bits of 3d printing mixed together in that way so hopefully the next two videos that you're going to watch after after this will explain those in more depth uh, the problems and what we have to do with those but the main thing that I'd like to say that you need to do is you need to know how big what you want to make is so when you have your model, when you have what you're planning, and you can see it in your, in your computer program, you need to make sure that it is the right size. And that is the size of the actual model that we're going to make. So not in scale. Okay? So when you supply those drawings, they must actually be the correct size for the model that you are going to make. So you should know approximately, or exactly if possible, in millimetres, what the size of what you're going to make is. So I would need to know that the end of... Uh, this elevation here, this is 185 millimetres tall and the length here, you know, it's 250 millimetres and you need to know that. So really the first port of call that you need to know, you need to know how big your model is and I can't stress how important that is. 
And when we change things, when we, at this end, when you manufacture, you can't always change, or you can't really change in scale. You can only change by millimetres. Okay, so please watch the next two videos. Like I say, one on laser cutting, one on 3D printing, and hopefully you'll find it informative and get the information that you need. Thank you.